How about it is Thursday the 15th of June. Now you're probably wondering why I'm filming outside uh, when I've been having a really big drought of outside footage when I said I would be filming outside is because this evening I'm going to see Count Arthur Strong live. If you don't know what Count Arthur Strong is then one, what are you doing? And two, it's a brilliant uh, television comedy starring um, Steve Delaney and Roy Kinnear. Probably the best comedy on at the moment. And it revolves around like a, co a comedian, a failed comedian, who's just living an everyday life now. And the sh um, what I'm going to see tonight is um, a stand-up routine by Steve Delaney acting as Count Armstrong. It's not actually the show, it's a stand-up comedy routine by Steve Delaney as Count Armstrong. But yeah, I'm filming now because in the evening I won't have enough time to film and upload, so yeah, I'm filming it now. Now the very basic answer to your question, uh, you could do whatever you want in the vlogs really. Like I don't really have an opinion on what you do. You could do health and fitness vlogs, I don't really mind. As long as you keep up a bit of communication, that's fine. Answer every every question I ask you, ask me a question every vlog, yeah. Overall I don't mind, like I do movie reviews every Thursday. So yeah. Um I do whatever I want, so I don't see why you can't do whatever you want, so yeah. However, he said about cancelling your um, Wednesday and Saturday vlogs. Now, that's a little bit, hmm, not sure. I'm not sure about that, because we have currently completed two years, and I want to complete this year. Um, but oh well, whatever goes, I suppose. So yeah, I saw Count Arthur Strong and it was fantastic. Hilarious, inventive writing. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Highly recommend um, you go to a live um, performance. And if you can't be asked, watch the um, series, which is currently airing on Friday nights on BBC One at half eight in the evening. Really funny and I guarantee you will love it. So yeah, my question to you about is to do with sort of live shows. Um, what is your, what, what was the first live show you saw or remember seeing? And what was your, and if that is your favorite one, what was your favorite live show you've ever seen? Right, remember Matt, you do have a punishment due in for Saturday. Um, I think I'll extend that to Wednesday, I don't know. Um, I think Saturday, we'll keep it for Saturday, um, because it's not that long, you could probably do it like, I don't know, okay, I'll be, I'll be generous, I'll say Wednesday is your deadline, because I'm in a bit of a generous mood, very tired though, as you can tell, I don't know, just being, um, it was quite tiring laughing at all the jokes, <laughs> uh, but no, I'm just really tired right now, I may have to rush my way through the review, but yeah. Um, that's what we're going to get into right now. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm back inside, did actually get home about an hour ago, but it's 11 now, so I've got to get the vlog out. Uh, so yeah, the review is Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Steven Spielberg, 1977 sci-fi film, and it's the reason he makes money off Star Wars. Yeah, this movie came out the same year as Star Wars, and it was actually predicted to do better, uh, but as uh, Star Wars is more of a sci-fi action um for closing hours was a sci-fi mystery um so yeah let's take a look at it right closing hours of the third kind is pretty much the majority of the movie is based off um the world trying to interpret several uh supposed evidences of aliens existing and whether or not they will actually ever arrive on earth um so yeah, that's a pretty simple storyline. Um, we've got then got three other t little storylines going on alongside it. We've got the story with um, Richard Dreyfus and his family and how he thinks he knows more about the aliens than anyone else. Then we've got a, a mother living in the same town as um, Dreyfus who loses her son to the aliens. And then we've got the government themselves trying to figure out what the aliens are trying to mean by their signals. And um, 
end up um, setting up several conspiracy theorists wet dreams to get all the things together to find out what the aliens actually want to say. So I've got to give a smoothie props for the intrigue it creates. It's a lot like um, Interstellar in that regard. It's got a lot of intrigue, but it's another one of those movies that's got the focus all in the wrong place. I think the best parts of the movie are the bits with the scientists, NASA, they're trying to figure out what the aliens are. And there's a lot of scenes in that that are really short. Uh, probably don't go anywhere, but if they had a lot more t screen time, they would go somewhere. The Richard Dreyfuss storyline, I don't think is that important, because, let's be real here, at the end of the movie, what's his character actually got that's good? Think about it, when you're seeing the movie, you know what I mean, at the end of the movie, his character doesn't add anything to the film. So yeah, he could cut out his storyline entirely, and replace it with more of the scientist talk. And those scenes do slow the movie down with Dreyfuss. I think it was a good decision to have the mother and the child story in, but yeah, not Dreyfus because his story adds up nothing in the end. And there's a few other characters and scenes that just go nowhere, which I feel should have been cut out of the movie altogether. Um, it does it's paced all, all right, and it, it's got a lot of intrigue, and the effects are very good, and there's a lot of good um, um, evidence and foreshadowing going on which is good but it's just focuses in the wrong place and there's a lot of useless stuff in it. I will say this though about the movie, the ending, um, I'm not giving anything away here, the ending is one of the best endings that could be given to a movie like this. Um, it wraps up the storylines perfectly and yeah basically that's what it does, it wraps the storylines perfectly, it's got a lot of humour in it, it's got a a lot of intrigue, great visual effects, it's what Spearbug does best basically and it's um, yeah I think it's probably the first demonstration of Spielberg being you know massive, Jaws he was great in but he didn't take on anything large scale this is the first time I think he actually went large scale, this ending scene of Close Counts of Third Kind absolutely magnificent, rest of the movie is a bit naff far from the worst, far from the best. Right, thanks for watching the vlog I am so tired right now, literally, this is the most tired I've been, uh, but it's a, it's a great show I saw today, and I'll see you Matt on Saturday.